Well, it was another cold morning, but uh, warmer for most places. And we're gonna see a jump up in temperatures the next couple days before a temporary dip by the end of the week, but a bigger sustained warm up is in sight. So there's another frigid start to the day. Wind chills uh, were in the teens, 20s, and 30s below zero, but not as bad as yesterday. 40 below zero wind chills were really reserved for just the northwestern corner of the state, which will kind of continue to linger into the cold on and off this week, more so than the rest of us. And that's been a pattern this month of January that we're gonna take a look at with uh, winter and January average temperatures so far. Uh, 20s below zero, 32 below zero was one of the cold spots at Cotton, Minnesota, but there were a lot more 30s below zero yesterday. So already some progress. We are again down to eight below in the Twin Cities. We just can't seem to get past that. But the cold and calm has allowed for some ice to develop. Look at uh, yesterday versus five days ago. St. Louis Bay has some ice in it now compared to really nothing uh, just five days ago. Takes that real cold to uh, get the ice to form on a lake as big as Superior. It has been a very warm month of January. That's what we're closing out, especially across Canada, but Minnesota, the beneficiary of that, and really the Eastern two thirds of the US. Now you counter that with what was a chilly December here. Overall, Minnesota about average or slightly warmer than average for winter so far, but there's a definitely a pattern where the West, the whole West Coast into even the Dakotas and far Western Minnesota has been cooler than normal. And we see that reflected in the numbers here when we look at the stations. Notice Fargo. For winter so far, two and a half degrees below normal. January was mild there too, but not as warm as everywhere else. Twin Cities, 4.3 above for January. And so the net for winter so far, 0.2 degrees above normal, which remember normal is the modern 30 year average, which is way warmer than it would have been a century ago. And we are favoring slightly cooler than normal conditions probably for February. So that will probably change those final numbers when meteorological winter ends four weeks from tomorrow. Highs near 10 today, still sub-zero for northwestern Minnesota. They kind of will linger into the cold, as I mentioned, down to 21 below Halleck tonight, uh, around zero, one below in the Twin Cities. So chilly definitely still, but not as cold as the last few mornings. And then look at tomorrow, up to around 20. Big difference though, northern Minnesota continues in the cold. The cold is trying to retreat. It's not gonna go far though, just across the border or at the border. And then it is gonna come slamming down temporarily again, Thursday into Friday. So Friday morning is gonna be just as cold as what we've seen, but for one day, and then the warmer air is back in in a sustained fashion for the weekend into next week. Just a little bit of some light snow to the north along the edge of that cold as it comes back in Thursday. Uh, Southern Minnesota will stay dry. Cold high pressure is back for Friday, but we could see a coating, maybe half inch of snow for some spots in Northern Minnesota, mainly uh, later tomorrow night into early Thursday. Uh, but not a significant snowfall. So pretty quiet week, thanks to the cold air as well. By Sunday, much warmer. Uh, we're talking probably at least low 30s this weekend, but the European model, pretty aggressive, near 40 for highs on Sunday. But again, notice poor Northwestern Minnesota, substantially cooler there. So about nine for a high uh, today. We'll see those temperatures start to warm up around 20 tomorrow. A temporary drop Friday again, but pretty cold, nine below. Could be even colder than the last couple mornings. But look at how we shoot up for the weekend. And those 30s look to stick around, 20s and 30s, normal or above normal temperatures into next week.